Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva. I guess. Let me look that up. Yeah, I mean. By the way, who happened, won, bro? Oh yeah, Anderson Silva. Abdul couldn't watch the fight, but I did uh, legally, of course. But we it happened this past Saturday. Yeah, so I think a lot of people didn't expect the outcome. Jake Paul, uh, if you guys didn't know, won the fight against UFC MMA legend Anderson Silva around age 47. So, I mean, what did you have you seen any highlights yet or anything? Um, and I I, I saw a little like a little clip. It hasn't been all over the internet, like where where at least where I look. Like maybe yeah, I feel yeah maybe it hasn't been. I mean, it's still pretty big. Bro, it's but. it's pretty big, yeah. Anderson Silva, I know, is a really reputable like, and yeah. he's not out of the game, so he's yeah. not retired. Where people, I mean, yeah, know. yeah, he's 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 a now a kickboxer, isn't that correct, Oshwat? He's well, now a kickboxer. And boxer, boxing, boxing, yeah. But I mean, and he had previous boxing fights, so yeah. People say this is his hardest opponent, Jake Paul, his toughest challenge. Yeah. Did it look like Jake Paul was dominating, or did it look like um, equal? I would I would say definitely clearly Jake Paul won. It's not like a split decision mm-hmm. kind of fight, but I would not say he dominated. I just think it was just so weird watching. Like, so I'd like Jake Paul probably won like four or five rounds, or no, like five to six rounds, yeah. or five rounds. I'd say Jake Paul won five rounds, Silva like won three. So oh. clear, clear what does that mean to LeBron's legacy though? Like, yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> Bro, that meme is actually the bane of my no. Oh, it's funny, yeah. but. Yeah, with Silva, I people are. I mean, do you think Jake Paul's finally proved himself? Because he people discredited well, all of well, his opponents. Well, he's proved himself in that like he's hasn't lost yet. I mean, he's he's dedicated the like, yeah, of since course. 2018. Yeah. His life has been well, dedicated. Not 20, I, 19, I didn't take a break. It? More like 20 end of 2019. Yeah, before like, the Gib fight. He's been dedicated. He's dedicated his life to boxing, and then like you can yeah, like no like, other YouTuber. That's what he wants to do. I mean, he's doing it. Yeah. And, and I respect the journey, like uh, all the hard work. I may not like he, the guy, but yeah, he might he might be like a total, uh, like total twat. douche. But twat is a good one. But he's he's just like you gotta respect that he's putting in the work. He's uh out there performing, risking his like because it's not yeah. easy to go in front of millions sure. online, in front of your whole fan base and fight like that can really put a dent in your career. He's risking it. Yeah, and he's you performed respect anyone who goes time. in the ring. Yeah, exactly. And like, despite what you might think of the opponents, I also think that he still performed every time at knockout. Obviously, yeah. this time he didn't have a knockout, but Anderson Silva is definitely his hardest opponent. Yeah. The opponent with the most boxing experience. He's already had, like, four fights, yeah. I think. And I, he's also, like, known for... He was also, like, showing yeah. skill in the boxing. Wait, so. I forgot about this, but did Tyrone Woodley go for... Jake Paul twice. Did yeah. they have two fights? Yeah. What happened in the second one? Oh yeah, for- they said Jake Paul. Jake Paul got the knockout, but they said he didn't look good. So the biggest thing from this fight is that the jump from Tyron Woodley one yeah. to two, not really any skill jump. Jump from Tyron Woodley two to this fight. Yeah, they said big. giant skill jump. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I guess what's next for Jake Paul? Like I think he's it, calling it, out Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz. Another. He a lot called younger. out Canelo. You Canelo, know Canelo. Yeah. No, that's not gonna. That's bro. not happening. No. But I think Nate Diaz could be a fight. Maybe at least like maybe I don't know about his boxing skill, but he's younger than Silva, and if the boxing goes yeah. around the same, he'll and be I even harder. This is a opponent. big payday for Nate Diaz if he yeah, accepts it. For so sure. Any, the UFC any fight with Jake Paul, fans will be buying the payday. fight and backing him. Yeah. And then the, and you got the YouTube fans, the box. Yeah, the boxing fans. Boxing would, purists who want to hate on it. No, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know Jake Paul. The problem with him is he doesn't have a big fan base. Like nobody actually like likes him, but he's just there. You know. Yes, fan, yeah, I get what you mean. Like a lot of people follow him, but he doesn't have like a tight knit no, fan base. Like, no, a lot not of, at all. Like I his brother. That like when you don't really like, you deviate from YouTube like yeah. that. Yeah. And like his content was yeah. like structured or made for like younger audiences, and like now like five, his six, younger, seven year younger audiences are really falling out with boxing, right? Yeah, so. no one. Yeah, <laughs> so that's that's it for like uh, yeah. I mean Jake Paul. I mean, I think what's you, his what's his next fight? Do well, you think? we said I think it's Nate Diaz. Like Nate Diaz. Look, yeah. I don't know how. I still I feel like this cements the fact that I don't know how KSI is gonna get that Jake Paul yeah. fight. He's defeating Anderson Silva. Okay. Who, uh, it depends on who KSI is fighting in January. Like, oh, he hasn't declared that yet? If He's going to declare in the next Misfits card, which is okay. this month, like November 19th oh, okay. or something. So, and like, he's in charge of all Misfits, yeah, KSI. He's not in charge. He's more like the promoter. Okay. Night he's Misfits. the face of it? Yeah. So he's just if he fights, you know, like a real boxer, not yeah. just like like Pineda, one like oh, no. losing Pineda record. Pineda was bad. like a... 
that was you know that night like the only thing that saved it is the other performances yeah. like if ksi that was it like people would have been like really yeah. mad but the other performances really carried i think he'll do i think he'll have a better opponent this time it just it has to be definitely this has to be an elite boxer just like a decent boxer yeah like who can you like, think alex wasabi no. no yeah that's not how ksi gonna, but... would never he said he yeah. said he gave him too much pre-publicity but yeah blah, blah, i guess blah. it's hard to see a path for jake paul versus ksi but if ksi can prove himself in this next fight yeah. and let's say jake paul loses the next fight have this closer knit but yeah it'll probably be like you know one or like two fights before that happens for each of them yeah. or at least milk yeah. the situation guys milk the situation so it's like people somehow some for some reason really care so yeah Make what does they say? What do they say? As, make the best of it. Yeah, make the best of it. And uh, now looking, Paul Deji's fighting Mayweather. That's yeah. When when is that gonna happen? That is happening this month and maybe a week or two. From a week today, and a half like a week and a half or something. I'm not hundred percent sure. Closer to two what? weeks, but yeah, so that's a lot, crazy. bro. There's a lot of entertainment coming yeah, up. A lot of like soccer World Cup is coming up. Uh, all these misfit boxing, boxing cards events. and then like. Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder, Andy Andy Wilder. Ruiz, I'm, I'm, I'm sure like UFC Bunch has a UFC lot of good stuff, ones. Yeah. So, yeah, they're keeping the world entertained, and it and now okay, Logan Paul is flying to Saudi Arabia to go against Roman Reigns for the oh, that's world heavyweight Saudi. championship. Okay, I didn't yeah, know a lot that. of people love. Uh, I just how does Logan Paul get from not being the WWE after like two fights he goes to fighting for the world wwe yeah. they have like championships because it's yeah. scripted i just find that it weird. is scripted but it's he fits somehow okay. to the timeline and he's a I mean, he's a creator like he is a creator he's a personality i, that's I feel like he's trying to mimic WWE. the rock because yeah. the rock started in wwe and then, and then, then this whole internet bro he was so big in w, like the rock yeah. was the king of wwe yeah. for a while and John he Cena was in too. the era back in like stone cold steve austin yeah. and all those or like old wrestlers so he, that when WWE was at its prime, and then ever since, like, I guess people started going off like television and like into like computers and like into social media, it really has died. But I don't know, they're trying. WWE yeah. have been making big strides and promoting. I think Bad yeah, Bunny was I, on I, WWE. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm bringing like celebrities is good for. Prom that's why like yeah, that's why I don't agree with boxing peers when they say oh. These uh, social media guys shouldn't be fighting. They're bringing more attention to boxing. Yeah. And then, if anything, I saw Anthony Joshua saying this, and it's something I agree with. If anything, these boxers, like boxing, is definitely not as popular as it once was. These like boxers and you know their agents or whatever yeah. could take a lesson from these social media guys, learn how to promote more. Yeah. Marketing like that. Yeah, that is true. And then you know make the sport of boxing even that bigger. That is very true. Yeah. Don't hate on it. Just learn from it. 